What's up guys, RJ Ron Keo here. I'm in my schlumpy uh, leisure clothes because I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but uh, Mr. FedEx stopped by and dropped off a little present for me. So let's do an unboxing, shall we? If there's one thing a guitar player should always have, it's a guitar pick. If there's one thing a YouTube guitar player should always have, it's a box cutter. Yeah, I'm the worst unboxer. There he is. Ooh, okay. All right, you ready? Ooh, look at this thing. D'Angelico. So this is the Deluxe DC. It's basically their double cut 335 style and an awesome matte cherry finish. I don't know if you can see this, but it's really cool. I had sold my 335, I had a 70s 335, to a good friend of mine, and uh, I didn't have a 335. And I never thought I would miss uh, that guitar or that style of guitar. And I was looking online for other options besides, you know, another Gibson, and I saw some of my friends uh, with this guitar, and uh, it looked really interesting, and it looked really cool. Sounded really cool. It's got really cool gold hardware that's really pimp. Binding on the neck, binding on the body. Wow, this is an amazing looking headstock. It's got this little nub. Never owned a D'Angelico before, but it's got this little nub that I'm not sure what the purpose is that. I'll probably get dressed up and uh, let's plug this baby in. Hello. Hello. Just reminds me of like Marty McFly. Blues and B, watch me for the changes and uh, try to keep up. So for this, I'm plugged into my Fender Super Reverb. Um, I have it turned up uh, right on the edge of breakup so it's not completely clean. Um, let's go through some of these tones. So that's the neck humbucker, and this has a very unique six-way toggle switch. So basically, you have the normal uh, switching of the humbuckers neck, middle, bridge, and then you also have it split coil. So you have the neck split, you have the middle with both of the humbucker split, and then you have the bridge split. You basically have three as humbuckers and three as single coils. So let's go through the humbuckers first. <laughs> So this is going to be the bridge split. Middle split. split to the uh, humbucker. That. 
let's uh, put on a little dirt and see what this thing does. So I'm using the uh, Vertex Ultraphonics Overdrive. Right off the bat, it plays really well. Uh, the neck is on the thin side for this type of guitar, which is actually pretty comfortable. Um, I mean, I've played a couple uh, Gibson 335s that had a chunkier neck, but for all around playing, you know, different styles, this is really comfortable. I think this uh, six-way toggle switch is cool. It's, it's kind of hard to get used to because I've never had something like this before. It's always been some kind of uh, pull pot thing but uh, I would definitely use the split coils, especially, you know, in this middle position. Where am I at? For like funky riffs and stuff. It's, so it's actually faster to do all the switching uh, once you're used to it because you know having to pull pots and push them back in while you're switching uh, Can take up a little bit of time. So That's pretty convenient. What else? I really like this whole art deco thing that D'Angelico does You know you have it all over the headstock, but you also have it on the knobs. I don't know if you can see this close But uh, just that little detail right there is super cool. I mean, I like how they did the uh, the tortoise guard instead of just the regular black guard. The shape has got that deco feel to it as well. I like how this comes with the block inlays. The block inlays tied in with the, you know, the art deco just makes it really classy. It's got locking tuners, which I just noticed. So it's got some modern features. And this matte cherry finish is super smooth. You know, I think it should look better on camera than something glossy. So this is definitely going to be making it into many of my videos to come. Well, I'm going to shred a little bit and then uh, I'll fade out. 